All right, here we are, coming around to the spring equinox. A day of balance, equal day, equal night, a time to reset your energy. I love the transitions of seasons. It always feels like, ah, oh, I can start again, no matter what has gone on in the previous season. Maybe you feel like that too. Maybe you don't even notice, but it is a time to realign your energy, to really recognize, okay, in this big wheel of life, where am I? When we look at the wheel of life, or as I teach in the medicine wheel, we have that opportunity to start again. We come around, we're moving from the winter direction of the north to the direction of the east, where the sun rises each and every day, where we open up to all the possibilities. We plant those seeds, we set those intentions. So that's where we are right now, coming around here to this new season. So today, take a breath, notice. Notice if you are in balance with your path. Notice what needs to be pulled back and realigned, and it's okay. Finding the ability to understand your path, your life, what's going on, is really key right now. So I've had a few messages, we're gonna draw some cards, but I've had a few messages coming in really about this time, and I keep waking up. That's when I get my messages early in the morning. I keep waking up with the same message. It's so simple, yet, so hard, but very powerful. And it is all about slowing down, presencing your energy as often as you can, getting outside and putting your feet on the earth, taking a pause and standing there, feeling the wind around you, feeling the earth under your feet, feeling the heat of the sun, feeling the water rushing through you. Those are the sacred elements of life. And as you slow down to present your energy, you'll understand more of your path. We're moving so fast. Technology has us moving so fast. It's not gonna go away, but we as humans, as spiritual beings in the human body, the message is that we must slow down to presence this energy. That's how we find the balance from all that speeding and rushing around that we do. Notice in your life, how often can you take a pause and just breathe, allow yourself to catch up with your spirit? Our spirits are so far out there, we have to pull it back. I was talking about this, align the spiritual body right on top of the physical, the emotional, the mental bodies so that you can notice the messages. You can listen to your intuition. You can feel that hell yes for yourself as you make decisions. And then your path will open up. You will be in that flow of life. That's how we learn. That's how we grow. That's how we began to work with the energy body. So as we come into this energy, tomorrow being that first day of spring, the wheel moves. We're in the direction of the east. The element is fire. Attuned to the element of fire, my Koshi chime for fire. Our totem is the eagle, really all birds, but especially the eagle. Get a bigger perspective of your life, a bigger perspective. Where are you? this great wheel. What seeds will you plant? Emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. Lay those seeds. Sometimes we can lay more than will grow and then you get to work with it as the spring comes in, nurturing the ones that you really want to see, noticing what sprouts, what doesn't. And then we follow that energy. So take a nice deep inhale as we attune our energy to this new season. Exhale all the way down deep into the earth. Inhale, expanding that light, opening up. Exhale, breathing all the way back down. Centering, aligning. Inhale, breathing up the body. And exhale, just aligning your energy, call in your spirit, drop into the heart, feel that connection, your spirit and the greater spirit. Know that you're loved, guided, protected as we move into this new season. Feel the excitement, feel the fire, feel all those possibilities opening up from your heart. 
Taking another deep inhale and exhale, pausing for a moment as we just notice this great wheel of life turning. Feel the energy. Imagine yourself facing the direction of the east as we honor this new season. To the east, the south, the west, and the north, above you, below you, right into the very center. Taking a moment, setting an intention. Feel it, see it, know it, hear it, and allow the elevated emotions, how you want to feel to radiate out all around you, setting that energy in your aura, and then taking another deep inhale and exhale, releasing it out, letting go of the attachment and just setting that energy as we draw some cards for this new season. Let's see what comes up. <laughs> the first card, which I already drew for my yoga class this morning, here it is again. And I shuffled Wheel of Fortune. Perfect card. We get to turn that wheel today. This is like luck coming in. This is like you spinning that wheel going, okay, no matter where I am, top or bottom, gratitude, the wheel is turning. I'm moving forward and I get to set the luck, the fortune I want to see come in. This is a good luck card. This is a gambler's card. Like, take a chance with yourself. Plant a seed that really inspires you, maybe even scares you a little. Move that wheel with gratitude. Take a nice deep inhale and exhale. All right, the next card is the tower card. Never a favorite, but when we let go of the old structure, so let's say the old structures of winter, the things that aren't serving you, the old habits, right? Things from generations that you keep following because you think you have to, let them come down because then you build new foundation, new possibilities. Don't be afraid to let go. This is a card that's telling us right now, you know, the eclipse season starts too. We're right in it right now. Next week, the full eclipse. The week after, two weeks after, April 6th, we have that total eclipse. So yeah, let it come down. Push yourself, allow that portal to open, set new energy so that you can build those new structures for your path. Five of fire, fire is that spring energy, fire is our passion, fire is our purpose. Things are changing. Allow for change, allow for growth. You know, I was telling my yoga class today, do something different today, break up your patterns, go a different way, eat a different thing, use your other hand, break it up, shift the energy so that you can start to work with your life in a whole different manner. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, turn that wheel with gratitude. Honor today, go outside, feel the earth under your feet. Inhaling and exhaling, gratitude for the spirit. Tomorrow begins that first day of spring. Happy season to your spirit, namaste.